Hey everyone, so on today's video I'm going to be doing a back to school makeup tutorial. I'm using mostly drugstore makeup um, just to help you girls out a little bit because I know um, a lot of the times um, higher end makeup is out of reach either because of the cost or because there's not many locations in your area. So I'm just making this super simple for you. Um, most of the products I use can be found in the drugstore which is awesome. And um, yeah, so let's just get right into the tutorial. Hey everyone, so in order to get this look, we're going to start with some concealer so we can lighten and brighten our look as I always do. And I'm taking my NYC Cover Stick Concealer and I'm just taking a little bit on a concealer brush and blending it underneath my eye area. And um, then I'm taking my finger and just blending it a little bit with that as well. Um, and then I'm also doing the bridge of my nose to lighten and brighten that area as well. Next, I'm taking a blotting powder. Um, this one is from MAC, but you can use a drugstore brand if you must. Um, there are definitely a lot of great alternatives in drugstore um, setting powders, so definitely uh, check that out. But I'm just using that to set my concealer. Next, I'm going to take my spoolie, and I'm going to use that to comb through my eyebrows. And then I'm going to use the other side of that spoolie, um, the definer, and I'm going to dip it into a little bit of my e.l.f. brow gel. And I'm going to take that to define my brows just a little bit. And then I'm going to take my brow gel and comb them through so they don't go anywhere throughout the day. Next, I'm going to take my hard candy, I believe it's called In The Glow, and it's a highlighter for your face and your body, which is awesome. So I'm just taking that and applying it to the apples of my cheeks and kind of blending it out. This is a really great cream highlighter, um, except I would say it's not the best, but it is probably one of the most reasonably priced highlighters because it does give you a lot of product for only about $8. So that's really, really awesome, and you can find this at Walmart. After highlighting your cheeks, you can go ahead and highlight any other areas of your face you'd like to, like your um, inner corner of your eye, your brow bone as a brow bone highlight. You can pretty much uh, highlight just whatever areas you want, even your nose. She's got your trick smile. Have you ever met someone so bad like I? Next, I'm taking a blush from Milani, and this one is also relatively inexpensive. And this one is in Luminoso, and I'm just taking a little small kabuki brush, because um, I know most of you must have a little small kabuki somewhere. So we're going to use the kabuki to apply the blush to the apples of our cheeks and blending that out. And this blush is great because it actually is called Luminoso for a reason, because it gives you a really nice luminous finish to your skin. Now for the eyes, you can either prime your eyes if you want to or you don't have to, but either way I'm taking a eyeshadow and I'm just using my fingers for this because it's not uh, that crazy of an eyeshadow look. You're just applying a little bit of shimmer to your eyelids. And then from there, I'm going to be using my Physicians Formula eyeliners and these come in a pack of three for like $10. And this is from their Nude Eyes collection and I'm taking the pewter color and I'm going to apply that to my top lid. It's not black so it's a little bit less harsh and then if you also want to make your eyes a little more dramatic I'm just taking some of my um, individual lashes from elf dipping it into some lash glue and then applying them as needed to the outer half of my eyes to kind of make them pop a little more As you can see, one eye's already done, so it looks uh, really, my lashes look really big and stuff. But then using the champagne color from that Nude Eyes um, 3 pack from Physicians Formula, we're going to take the champagne color eyeshadow or eyeliner and we're going to apply it to our bottom lash line. And 
Next we're going to go ahead and curl our lashes, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Finally, applying some mascara to our eyes, we're going to be applying the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara because I find it's not super, super dramatic, but it does the job to lengthen and separate your lashes, which is perfect for everyday wear. Lastly is our lip color. I'm just using a lip stain because I find lip stains last longer, obviously. Um, you can use a balm to put over it so that it's not so drying. But I find that this one here, which I believe is by Maybelline, isn't very drying on your lips. I haven't had a problem with it. And it's in the shade in the buff. I believe it's 05. After that, you're pretty much done with your makeup. And then for my hair, I just kind of slept with it a little bit damp and in a braid. So I'm just undoing the braid now so I don't have to use any heat on it. And it's going to give me these really nice, very loose, very natural looking waves. So I just really like that for every day. And then I could just head out the door and get ready to go to school. So I will talk to you guys again real soon. Thanks for watching.